guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I got my tape and extensions out. Mwah, mwah. I'm kind of sad about it, but I wanted to sit down here today and make a video going over the removal process just because I made a video about how I got them in and then I made a video about how to wash and style them and kind of take care of them and then I thought it would be fitting for me to kind of close that little story line with talking about how I get them taken out. So these are my extensions that I got taken out and I got them taken out because for one they got discolored and they don't match my hair anymore. So this is my hair and you can tell it's much darker than the extensions. They used to be a perfect match but I don't know we don't know actually what happened. She asked me if I was using purple shampoo or anything like that and I wasn't so I really don't know but yeah, I'm not, I wasn't too thrilled about the color, so I thought I'd just take them in, give my hair a break for a little bit, and then um, get a new set to put back in. So this is how, what my hair looks like after. I didn't even wash it yet or anything like that. So this is, you can see, well, maybe you can't, I don't know. But first of all, my hair is just greasy, and second of all, it's also greasy from the remover, and there is some glue residue. And that's all the hair I have. But if you watched my um, my experience getting them in, you'll remember this is how much hair I started with. So I didn't actually lose that much hair. And I'm going to insert a clip here on how she takes them out. So what you're going to see is she's going to put some remover on the top of the bond to start to weaken the glue inside. And then she'll slowly peel back the tape as the glue is weakening. And then uh, slowly peel off the other side. And then what you don't see is after she'll take a little fine tooth comb and a cotton pad that has the dissolver oil in it. And she'll put that behind the piece that she's working on and then kind of just comb out some of the glue and some of the residue. And what's left is just a little bit of film that's on your hair. So... I'll talk about that in a second. So if I touch my hair right now, it is sticky. It is a little bit sticky, so that is to be expected. And normally, if you were going to get them taken out and put back in, you would go through this whole process of them removing it, your hair being like this, and you would go home, wash your hair, um, do like a deep conditioning treatment, get out all the residue, do a clarifying shampoo. And then what they're going to do is wash your extensions, take the old tape off, put new tape on, so that when you come back in with clean, dry hair, they're going to have clean, dry extensions to reapply to your hair. So I've been wearing the same set of extensions for about eight months now, and every four to six weeks, I'll take them out, do this whole process, and then she'll put them back in. And now this is just the final time where I'm not going to go get them ba put back in, not this set in particular at least. So right now I'm just going to give my hair a break. So I get asked if tape and extensions are damaging, and to be honest, not really. They're one of the most, they're one of the least damaging kinds of hair extensions. All hair extensions in general are going to put some sort of stress on your hair because they're, they're giving your hair extra weight to hold on to, pulling and tugging is naturally going to break off some of your hair, but tape-ins is one of the least damaging methods in my opinion. You will notice some hair loss once you take the tape-ins out just because every day you naturally lose hair and so it naturally falls out, but when you have tapes in, the hair that's naturally supposed to fall out is stuck to tape, right? So once you take out all your extensions, you're going to notice a little bit more hair loss than normal and that's just hair that was going to fall out within the past couple of weeks anyway, so don't be alarmed if you see some extra hair falling out. You, it's normal, don't worry. <laughs> oh yeah, and I have to mention that I do recommend getting your tape-ins taken out by a professional. It will minimize the damage tenfold. I actually took a hair extension course, so I know how to put in tapes and how to take them out, and I have put in my own tape and extensions, and I have taken out my own tape and extensions, but taking them out on yourself is honestly so difficult and so like there's so much pulling going on and you're gonna rip out your hair so um, I'm all about doing it yourself but if you don't have that experience 100% go to your extensionist so she can take it out properly and minimize the 
damage and pulling and ripping of your hair. <laughs> it really shouldn't, it doesn't hurt if they do it properly and it's, it, they barely pull out your hair at all. So yeah, go to, go to a professional for sure. Okay, so now let's talk about all this residue that you're left with and how you're going to get that out. So what you're going to do is put a whole bunch of conditioner in your hair. I'm going to use this argan oil intense deep conditioning treatment. Um, it doesn't really matter what kind of conditioner you use. I would recommend something with some sort of oil in it just to kind of help break down the residue of the, of the glue. So you're going to put that all in your hair, kind of wet your hair a little bit and just like soak your hair in deep conditioner and leave it on for as long as you can. I know some girls leave it on overnight, some girls leave it on for a couple hours. I am going to bed soon so I'm just going to leave mine on for like an hour or something. And then get in the shower and take a comb and just gently comb through your hair with the conditioner in and you'll feel some of the, the residue and some of the glue kind of sliding out and you'll see it on your comb as well. And then just wash your hair really good, dry your hair, and you're still going to see some residue after that. You're, you're going to have to do this maybe about, you're going to have to wash your hair about three to four times, like separate occasions, to get all the glue out. But just doing this once, you're going to notice a huge difference. Like, you can kind of style your hair as normal after doing it once. But if you do feel like you have a lot of residue, just kind of repeat the steps. Like, put the conditioner in, comb your hair, and wash your hair and all that. So, yeah, I think that's all my tips on removing tape and extensions. If you have any questions, please leave them down below, and I will get back to you. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. I'm going to be making more videos, so it'd be awesome if you could stick around. And until next time, I'll see you guys. Bye!